Hello everyone, Leo here. Today we are going to create a Nest.js application using Nest.js Prism library. So we are going to set up everything using this library and also connect with a PostgreSQL database using Docker, Docker Compose, and also we are going to use uh, SWC um, Builder. So it's uh, another way to build uh, Nest.js application. So it was released, I think, in the version 10 i guess i'm not sure about that so but i guess <laughs> yeah so let's uh move then i opened this this file just to to be beautiful for you to see <laughs> that's yes file website and okay let's move to the terminal i already created a, a project using nest new so we, we are using the the nest cli and I created just because it requires some installation and then it demands a, a, a couple minutes, I guess, to install, to install everything. And I already created that. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm creating a project, so the first one is rename the branch to main. So let's change it. So yeah, we have a main branch right now. So let's just clear here and clear here to uh, update the branch. So I'm going to use Nash.js Prisma because it's very easy to set up a Prisma application. So, and for you just to know, um, I'm using LunarVin. I'm going to use LunarVin and I'm using Tmux terminal. So for that reason, I have three tabs uh, of my terminal. So one of the tabs I'm going to use, I'm going to run the, the LunarVin and the other two ones i'm going to run the docker and the application and that's it so the first thing that we need to do is create a module so let's open the learner vin uh here um well the first thing really first thing is change our builder to to use um to use the swc yeah okay and here swc okay that's okay that's it. But we need to install because if we run the application in this way, it will tell us that we need to install the SWC here. So for that reason, I'm going to install minus D and yeah, this comment here. Uh, because when we change the builder, we need to install the SWC CLI and SWC core. So uh, when we try to run the application, it gets an error and yeah, that's it. So now let's try to run the application and then we are already using the SMC so it's running properly and then let's uh, stop this and start the real application. So the first thing that we need to do is create a module. So we are going to create a CRUD application and about posts. So it's a title and description. It's a very simple one, but it's just for you to see the setup using the, the NAS.js Prisma. And yeah, the first thing is generate the, the module. So I already generate resource. So it's a, a shortcut to generate resource. So generate resource and modules post. So I already have the comment already uh, set here. So let's use it. Uh, I'm going to use the modules folder because I like to do this, this kind of stuff. And yeah, let's run this command. We will be asked for install using REST API. And if we need to generate a CRUD entry points, yes, for both. Um, yeah, let's wait the installation. And yeah, that's it. So we have now a module here, uh, modules folder, and we have a common module from that. Yeah. So, Let's set up everything using the Nest.js Prisma. So the first command that we need to run is nest add Nest.js Prisma, and we need to pass a flag called add Prisma serve. So let's run this. So add, so exactly this one. So when we are using Nest.js Prisma, it's already, we will create like a pre set about uh, Prisma. And also we need to pass this flag add Prism service because if we don't do that, uh, the the CLI will generate Nest.js Prisma but won't create the the Prisma service. And we already know that when we are trying to create uh, 
connections between our code and our database we need to use a prisma service to do that if you are using like express or others um that's node.js frameworks we need to to do it by ourselves and create the file and etc but if we pass this flag to the nas.js prisma command on our cli uh, it already will create the the service for us so let's run this um i think it will ask if we need to to use like Postgres or MySQL. I don't know. Let's let's wait for the question, but I don't remember very well. But I think we need to select if we are going to use like Postgres. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to select Postgres. Uh, do you like to do a application? Yes, but we are going to use just the the database. We we want uh, the Docker everything. So for that reason, I need to do a couple changes. So yeah, it's already created the files just installing and yeah so now we have three files here the first one is a module so let's remove these comments here but it's a common module for an sgs um, we have also a task file and the prisma service that what i was mentioning before so it's exactly the thing that we copy and paste from the NASGS documentation, like the Prisma service, extend the Prisma client in, and implement some module it from Nest. And yeah, that's it. So we already have a Prisma uh, set. So we just need to um, change a couple of things in the env. So um, I'm gonna change this database. I'm gonna see like Nest, uh, like post DB, I would say any name so and yeah that's it and i need to change the um host of the database so i'm going to use localhost because i want to run everything using the docker because i i prefer so in this case of course um and then uh we need to change let me remember i think it's i think that's it we need to change on docker compose yeah i now i remembered yeah so let's just change this um, name here so let's call it like nest post grease posts i don't know yeah so now we we have a new name just for don't get conflicts in our branch or in our docker so let's use this uh, left terminal to run the docker so let's run docker um, the first thing that I think we need to run, um, yeah, let, let's see. So, um, I think it's Docker compose up. Yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, we have a database running and then, um, uh, now we need to create like your schema. So as usual, so, uh, I'm going to create just, I'm going to create just a title and description. So I think it's very simple. So we have a module and post. I'm going to put this in the singular and we have an ID, um, string and yeah. And the folder I'm going to use a UID. I think that's, that's it. And title string and description string. Yeah. Okay. That's it. We have an ID, title, and description. Um, and yeah, now we need to run, uh, oops, npx uh, prisma generate, generate our services. And we need to run npx prisma migrate dev. So let's see if we work. Okay, we have a Postgre database created. And so create a post uh, table. Let's name it this way. Okay, we got an error, but I guess it worked because we don't have a, a seed file. Yeah, let's see. Let's test it. So let studio. Okay. Let's see if to open a, a Prism Studio 2. So yeah, we have now Oh, an ID, title, and description. So yeah, that's that's working. So let's back to the terminal, and then I think our work here is just to um, create the integration between our code and, of course, the the Prisma, right? So yeah. Now let's go to our 
previously created module and yeah we have a post here let's change just the controller oops let me close all of these tabs and yeah let's minimize everything okay now we are ready to go um, modules and then uh, DTO first thing that we need to create is a DTO and we are going to have a title of type string um, in this case I won't create like validations because it's just to validate our NestJS Prisma library and yeah so string string okay ready uh, to go I want to change everything anything here so yeah let's see here okay um, now we are getting an ID but it's uh, okay it's per set as on a string but it's passing as a number to the to the service so let's remove it so now we need to change everything here in this so it should be like string so okay now it's ready to go um, and yeah so we have a controller and this controller is calling a service um, function so i usually create a repository service to communicate with the database but in this case i'm going to do everything inside the the service so let's move to here so the first thing that we need to do is create so um let's change this and return so return this or oh, we need to first we need to integrate the the prisma so um, the first thing that I think we need to do is go here and import um, or Prisma module, I guess. That's the way. Let's see. And I don't know if it's working, but let's run the application in order to see. Um, yes. Okay, we got an error controllers expect oh i forgot the come here yeah oh my god okay it's running now we have the prism module already imported here so and then we need to uh, create an instance from our service in this in this other service so here we need to create a constructor um yeah and private read only um uh, I don't know, Prisma, I guess. Prisma and Prisma service. Yeah, that's it. So we have a Prisma service. We got an error again. <laughs> Let's see what happened. Um, all the other constructor implementation. So yeah, I think I forgot to close everything here. Oh my God, I'm forgetting everything okay now it's working again so yeah now we can use this dot uh, prisma uh, dot um, posts yeah posts in this case i created as post and we can use create and inside this we have a data flag and then we are going to pass the create post dto that's the dto that we are going to create um what's happening here uh, let's see it's not assignable to uh, okay post create input proper description is missing description maybe i wrote something correctly yes i did this oops description yeah, now I guess it's okay. Oh, all right. So in this case, we need to replace um, um, I'm struggling with my Vim comments because I'm using a new keyboard. <laughs> and yeah, so the find one is, let's see, I, I won't validate. So yeah, let's this dot prisma dot post dot find first yes and uh oops where id 
Yes. I forgot something. Because I'm passing, I think, two of this. Ooh, two of this. Oh my god. Yes, that's it. So a string has no properties. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of errors here. String is not common with type post where input. Um, I don't know what's the problem. I think, oh, I know. Because we need to pass it this way. Okay. Uh, yeah, so in the update, I usually validate first if it exists or not before create uh, or update in this case. But in this way, I would just um, create like this dot prisma dot post dot update. Um, and then we need to pass where ID and then uh, data update. Yeah. Oops. Update post DTO. Okay. Now it's just the remove function that we need to do. Uh, return um, this dot prisma dot post dot delete um, where id and that's it. So I hope it will work. So it should just do this one this dot prisma dot post dot final. I guess find find. Oh, find many, yeah, find many, and that's it. So okay, um, I think that's great. So let's test it. So um, okay, let me open my Postman. So I already created a couple of things, but I don't know if it will work. I don't know if we call it that posts or post in the end. It posts, okay. So let's see if the get will work. Um, oh my God, my postman just <laughs> closed it. Oh, I got an error. Okay, let's try to open it again. Uh, I, I want to cut this part of the video because it happens with everyone. So let's try to open postman again and see if it's if it won't work, I will like try to access by the browser or create a core for that. But yeah, I think it's fair enough. Okay, it's opening my other monitor. So let's wait this open. Okay, it's another workspace. Let me change the workspace to YouTube. Now we have this and this and this and let's see. Okay, we have a 200 with empty array. Let's create a new post. Um, let's see. Okay, working. Oh, first try. First try, it never happened before. Um, let's get. Okay, let's update then. Let's copy this ID here. Oops, copy this ID, update, and paste it here. Let me remove this. So, yeah, our body is like a new description. Let's see. Oh, update description and get one. I won't delete this just uh, because I don't want to remove this from the database, but yeah. Okay, so we got one. So in this case, we got just the object. And in this one, we got an array. So it means it's working. It's working. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the mistakes that I did. So I, I was forgetting a lot of stuff here. But yeah, I hope it helped you. It, uh, it helps you in your project. So it's very good to use the 
the Nest.js Prisma. It ha helps us a lot in terms of create new projects and set up everything. So if you wanna access that, uh, the the website is nest.js-prisma.dev. So and yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.